Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Before I get into it, quick shout out to all the new subscribers here at the channel. If you haven't heard, Rockstar has added the animals, the peyote plant transformations, back into GTA Online. We're going to have a big live stream doing that tomorrow. You can join up, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification button. It'll let you know as soon as it begins. In today's episode, we have two major updates to get to right here in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, we've been patiently awaiting the next DLC. Hopefully, we get Mexico added into the game. It was a big part of Red Dead Redemption 1. But the question is, with all this going on in the world, the social distancing, will it delay any DLC that is supposed to hit Red Dead Redemption 2 online? Now, if you go to progress and then check the Outlaw Pass, you will see that Outlaw Pass number 2 is done gotta. There is none right now. Considering it's the equivalent to the Battle Pass from Fortnite, you would think that as soon as one Battle Pass ends, the next one will begin giving Rockstar, and of course in that case, Epic Games, a ton of money. But there is no Outlaw Pass. When will we get the next one? Has all this paused Rockstar Games? I'll give you an update, and then we have to look at one of the biggest mysteries in the game. You can find it on top of Mount Shan. That is where you can see a UFO. Well, there's also a sundial, but to this day, nobody is for sure what that sundial represents. I'm going to show you something huge when it comes to it. Maybe we can solve this as a community. Wait, is that a is that a tree fort? Wait a minute, how do we get up there? Oh man, we gotta get in this tree fort. You guys can get in there, let me know, hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs. With all that said, will we be getting a new DLC soon? A new outlaw pass in Red Dead Redemption 2 online? Let's get into it, my friends. Here's an article recently published by Game Industry Biz. I thought it was extremely well done. Now keep in mind Rockstar is supposedly working on GTA 6. So between doing that and then maintaining GTA Online and Red Dead Online, I figured Grand Theft Auto 6 as well as any other projects would be delayed. But it seems like this article says otherwise. So it says Rockstar Games as well as EA are the latest major firms to send staff home. The Grand Theft Auto developer shared a statement via Twitter stating work from home policies have now been implemented across all international studios and offices. Rockstar is confident work on its games will continue with minimal disruption and both GTA Online and Red Dead Online plus their support teams will operate as normal. I found that highly interesting considering they all got sent home. Meanwhile, EA is strongly recommending that all employees in North America, Europe and Australia work remotely until April 1st. I gotta say that is very impressive if they can pull off everything with no delays while maintaining both online games. I feel like that would be really impressive from Rockstar, but considering it's taken so long to get a GTA 6 announcement or really anything, I still think it probably will get delayed. We also have to assume that Rockstar is benefiting with everybody stuck at home playing Red Dead and GTA, so they might devote more time to making those online games less glitchy and better rather than working on GTA 6. So again, I could see a future project delayed while they focus on what's making them money right now. So here's another update. It looks like Payday 2 developer Starbreeze Studios has also begun adopting remote work. It's pretty crazy, man. All these guys working on video games, programmers, developers, they hopefully have the equipment from home to make these games continue. But with that said, we're still waiting on that Outlaw Pass, Rockstar. I also have to add that Rockstar has announced they're going to send 5% of the profits from both GTA and Red Dead Online. To help out with relief efforts in a time period where so many people are penny pinching and saving up money for the unknown future right. rockstar is Run helping away. out that is amazing news much love to rockstar games now as far as red dead online we don't know when we're going to get another dlc hold on john don't die on me but here in story mode i think that a dlc is not happening with the delay you know they're working on gta 6 we'll never get an update for red dead story mode but that said there's still some unsolved mysteries that we have to get to. We recently investigated the sundial on top of Mount Shan. It has arrows pointing out into separate directions, but nobody is really sure exactly which locations that they point towards. And considering this is a sundial, it has to have something to do with this shadow. So in other words, looks like it's almost 11 o'clock. So I'm guessing this is probably going to be about noon. So there should be a location that we have to go to at noon that the yellow arrow is pointing towards. Now, I did put some markings on the map, so it looks like it has to be one of these locations. So we have to go to the Devil's Cave at noon, the crashed flying doohickey, maybe the witch's hut, 
it has to have something to do with this being a sundial. And the only way we even know it's a sundial, you have to have a special collector's edition version of the Red Dead Redemption 2 guide where it does tell us that it's a sundial. I have to give a huge shout out to Anaruko. She's helped out a lot here at the channel. She managed to pinpoint the exact line that all these arrows are pointing towards. Here's the map. I'm sure it took her a long time to make this. I'll put a link in the description to Anaruko's channel. She runs the White Hair Investigations. Make sure to show her some love. So there's Mount Shan. This is the one that I figured out. You can see it points right towards the Devil's Cave. That's a very mysterious location. So I think that Mount Shan is pointing towards that. But there's plenty of others. The first thing that I notice, uh oh, glitching out, is that none point towards New Austin. It seems like all of the arrows are keeping us in the new Red Dead Redemption 2 section of the map. So one heads towards, it looks like Sadie's shack back here. There's just so many possibilities. I question this line right here. Notice how it goes right through Window Rock. It's almost like the arrow takes us exactly through the window itself. Let's go investigate. Here's the arrow that points towards Window Rock. It is an orange one covered with snow. So there's a lot of hieroglyphics and cave paintings on Window Rock itself. We'll see if anything on that wall is orange. Here it is. Window Rock is massive. What's on the other side of the window? Let's take a look. I don't see much back there. It looks like there might be a jumper. Oh, wait a minute. It's just an eagle. We'll go up there in a moment. But let's head around and get to Window Rock. Now, as I said, there's writings on the wall. And I think that it might be connected to the Chelonians because it points out this strange cave with the statues. It gives you the order to find the gold that is hidden in the center statue. And I think the Chelonians might be behind that cave. So could it be that the sundial was made by the Chelonians. Here it is. I don't really see anything orange. See, that's the strange cave. You can see the statues. There's a ton of handprints. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. Maybe there's something on the other side of Window Rock that it is pointing us towards again. I believe the sundial mystery on top of Mount Shan remains unsolved. So let's head to the top of Window Rock. Maybe we'll find the answer there. We made it up here. The eagle is taken off. Once again, I hope you guys are all good. Hit me up anytime on Twitter at TrippyComs. Live stream later on tonight. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the like button. But most importantly, as always, stay trippy, my friends.